welcome to another LP and it is on Tradewinds Legends and this is done by Assassinator on your, mode, your most beloved channel Epic Gaming Gauntlet right so um, you guys know have to know about Tradewinds I mean, one of the most ep epicest trading games amongst the legends back then so basically what I can do I can play as one of these four characters um, <coughs> Rihanna um, Mandi, uh, the tiger, or Hassan. Um, this guy, he, um, he's raised on the shifting sands of the African desert. Hassan is a fierce Berber swordsman, and great in his skin, he bears the, against evil and harm in battle. Um, yet Hassan's tattoos could do nothing to protect his warrior brother, Omar, who disappeared during the mysterious destruction of the Tazer family home three years past. Since the disaster, Hassan has worked for an Arab moneylender, paying off the loans needed to rebuild the family estate. Now he is free and has vowed not to rest until he discovers his um, brother's fate, Omar. Um, this guy is a Chinese guy. This guy is probably Persian. These two are Indian. I know he is Nandi because uh, Nandi is the vehicle for Ganesh, who's the one of the Hindu gods. So he is the tiger, he's Chinese, Mongolian, um, <coughs> known as ancient captain by known to most only as the tiger, moves through the world, cloaked in mystery. Two things are certain, one, she has, she was born somewhere in the Orient, and two, she was, um, she, well, two things are certain, one, she was born somewhere in the Orient, and two, this event occurred a very long time ago. All else is rumor and hearsay. Uh, the tiger is a black magician who fled the wrath of a Mongol Khan. Kublai Khan, Genghis Khan, you know they're all called Khans. Right? So, um, no, an imperial assassin who spared the target in exchange for a new life as a merchant. No, the empress herself is hiding. Maybe she is a sweet old lady who just wants to retire from a party with a dozen cats. No one knows for sure, and that suits the tiger very well. Interesting. So we got the Persian and the Mongolian and the Indian. In his decades on the seas, Nandi has developed quite a reputation, both for his appetite for life's pleasures and his flexible approach to honor and morality. Opinions are divided over sea, over whether he is as bumbling and obsequious as he seems, or if it is all a clever ruse concealing a razor wit. The profits, the profits he has made, suggest that. Uh, the prophecy he has made suggests suggest the latter. But really, how could such a simple man, a man with such a well-cultivated beer belly, a man who loses his glasses atop his head, possibly outfox the sharpest merchants and sultans? Laugh if you wish, but he had better count in the long and top ten and count to remember. And this girl, Rihanna, not the singer. Probably that's where she got it from, I don't know. As a little girl, Rihanna spent her days playing among the shelves of her family's modest spice shop. Although she possessed a keen mind, she showed little interest in the dealings of merchants until her sweet face caught the eye of one of her father's customers, the wealthy trader, Basha Saya. When Rihanna came of age, they were married and immersed on the merchant lifestyle. She began to absorb the tricks of the trade as she strove to help her husband with his business. Their finances thrived apace with their love. Until disaster struck, fleet and fortune broke and Rihanna's husband succumbed to despair, leaving his widow the scraps of their business and its debts. So we can play as the two Indians, Nandi or Rihanna or the Mongolian, uh, the tiger or Hassan, the Persian. Or we can make our own character and choose. Um, I'm only going to be doing one of these let's plays because I'm just going to be going through with one character. If later on chosen by viewers or so on or really wanted by the viewers of the channel then I may consider doing another LP on a different character or maybe one on my own 
but I'm not doing my own character because I don't see it fair. So um, I might as well just go ahead with one of the storylines. Um, basically, I already I'm gonna play as Nandi because basically he I I find this interesting how his merchantism and his um, greed for money and how he's and he and how he can't outsmart sultans and stuff. Well, basically, let's see. Okay, welcome to Trademans, blah -de blah -de blah and I'm hard play. Alright, so... I already have money in the bank. This guy's already a banker. Interesting. Okay. So, um... I'm in sub large. Alright, um... We have shipyards, uh, magic places, money lenders, markets, um, banks, um, the priest or whatever you want to call it, the lord, tower like a palace, um, the shrine like your temples and stuff, and this is a storage area, right, this is the shipyard where you have the docks and all, so basically you get quests, right, so you need to go and talk to the palace, talk to the people in the palace and accept the task. Nandi, Lord Naji bin Jabal. Okay. Nandi, there is a homeless guy in the temple here who says he's your friend. The few ants short of a picnic, if you know what I mean. He's going on about wanting to see you about something he needs. Get over there and make him quit licking the walls before I have him thrown out, will you? I shall fearlessly halt the moistening of your fine wallpaper, sir. And continue. Alright, uh, go to the temple and chat with the wall liquor. Approach the cereal liquor. Nandi, my friend, these people, they laugh at Baba Mustafa. They poke him with sharp sticks. They mock his afflictions. And they stole his pet lentil. Lentil is a spice that, um, FYI, lentil is a spice that's grown mainly in southern Asia mainly in India and it's very healthy as well it's very healthy um, spice it's very tasty too um, mainly prepared in a dish called dal um, so villains oh please Nandi help a frail old man continue do I know you? they wish Baba Mustafa to leave they think their walls are too good for him to lick but Baba Mustafa will not leave not till he gets what he's due. The scoundrels in Alkazam have his treasure. Chest stuck in customs at the shipyard. And he's not going anywhere until he has it. A treasure chest. Mama, old buddy, old pal. I'll go to Alkazam and bring it right back. Alright, let's get going. Um, right. Where am I supposed to go? Alkazam Shipyard Customs. Need to go to the shipyard. Need to go to the shipyard in Alkazam, okay? I represent Bamboo's. Oh, smelly peasant guy's chest. Yep, I've got it right here, and it's all with a sort of right? Customs fee in the big chest of the night. Be delighted to hand the chest over as long as you can assure me nothing illegal. It's illegal? Nandi is a man of honor, so a man to be trusted. Oh, oh this thing's locked. <laughs> chest of ours. Why isn't there a bank in the same place as the money? Turn 
the chest too. Okay. Yes. To have him beheaded. He was about to get beheaded. The Lord wants to speak to you. <laughs> He's mad. The old man sent me on my chase. And he wants me to keep him away from here. He doesn't want to have all that bleach on his walls and temple again. And now I have a lot of treasure chest. Take this with me. Pay the debt. Now, um, what's the next task? A nasty scrap. Scrap there, whatever. His wife, she needs oil from Aqua. Okay, so she needs oil from Aqua to soothe um, his wife's abrasive personality. No, first of all, um, I need to build my ship cannons. Yep. All built. Go to Aqua. What? Aqua. Yes! A pirate! These pirate battles are awesome. You beat them, you get a ton load of money. Like pirates, of course. basically just a simple fight because I don't have a large army now that I do because I don't have a cannon that I don't care if I have been hit he's gonna die anyway look at that 5160 denarius and a berserker's raid you get all these awesome items when you beat all these famous cards like um Ship. Ten crates of oil. By ten. Okay. Um. Going right. back to sort of large. Oh, no, no, no. So. Dumped him down in the docks. Don't help me restart water around and get him. 